happens when twin flames try to date? Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel where I talk about all kinds of things, twin flame and ascension. So if a person becomes activated and they're well aware of their twin flame and even if they start questioning it, sometimes people get a little disgruntled on the journey and they just say, well, I'm going to chuck this and I want to go on a date. Okay. What happens when twin flames try to date though? There's some stuff that happens. So let's get right into it. First of all, many people feel like they're re-upping, like they have ended something or ended that part of their life, but then they feel like maybe they're just like, it's almost like re-enlisting in the military. They have to do it. They're going to do it because they don't know what else to do with their life. So they start putting themselves out there again. And some people are convinced that they've found their twin flame on a dating website when in actuality they're supposed to shut that down because that is to take the real twin flame off that playing field, out of the dating arena. So that's one thing. You do not have to re-up. It usually only lasts a season. You're sometimes engaging to pull that cork out real good and get rid of it for both of you. The next thing that happens is Karma, if you're re-engaging at a karmic level with soulmates and even if you were to think they were a really nice person, karmic stuff can still happen. That's what happens when twin flames try to date. Karma, why? If you haven't learned the lessons of dating like relationships and decided that you're done with all the game playing and all the other things, then karma. Okay, and karma, as they say, is a bitch. But what else about it? Karmic stuff that happens can include things like appliances breaking down. If you're not doing your best to get your relationship over with or even your relationship shifted so that you're not doing the karmic stuff anymore or if you're in a marriage, you're going to find that things break down. The car breaks down appliances break down, your hot water heater breaks down, the furnace breaks down. But here's the difference. You sense that there's something behind it. There's something underlying it. Karma. Because karma just simply repeats until you rise up and out of it. You do that through the integration of your body. You start tripping around and repeated karma. So I don't recommend it. Don't date. You don't need to. You're here for something else. The next thing that happens is a lot of mental rationalizations about dating. Everyone's doing it. I'm being peer pressured. In my tradition or culture, I should be married by now. Um, if I don't find someone, I'll be married off and it'll be arranged for me. So there's a lot of mental rationales or analyzation of the mind. And you wind up being drained because these things... The things of the mind are not feeding the heart. In fact, they're stressing the mind and not engaging heart energy. So what winds up happening? Too much mental energy is used up analyzing it, rationalizing it, making nice, you know, being a people pleaser, all that stuff that just drains, especially women, but men and women and everyone on wherever they are on the spectrum of sexuality. The next thing that I'll mention is right away you meet someone, it seems to be maybe a match, and then you find out, you start feeling like you already need therapy. You want to go into couples counseling. Why are you even thinking it? Because you're essentially repeating karmic patterns. Why are you attracting the same type of person that you already, and maybe you didn't rid yourself of that baggage? When you work on the integration of your new template of relationship, your new light body, those things aren't even a consideration. You won't even meet those people. They won't even be on your radar. They will be deflected so fast that they won't even be on your path. You won't even have to ask for them to be removed from your path. Don't date. The next thing that happens is you meet someone, it might be someone of interest. You might wonder, are they possibly a significant other only to find out you don't really want to be touched by them. They might flirt with you, 
but the thought of being touched rubs you the wrong way, literally feels like your feathers or your fur could be rubbed the wrong way. It's irritating. It's annoying. You don't want that touch or they accidentally touch you or they try to touch you and it gets creepy. Okay. Pay attention to how you're feeling. You're not supposed to override those feelings and continue to date them or even give into it and expect to date. That's not what you're here for. So if you're getting body signals like that, pay attention. You don't want to be touched. You don't want to be kissed. You don't want their saliva in your mouth. You don't want any part of them really, except maybe they have a good job or they come from the right family, but everything in you is just screaming, no, 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 okay? And they really have done nothing, but somehow even an accidental touch, like you bump elbows and you're just kind of like, ooh, yeah, no. That can even happen with your children or members of your family. Why? Because your light body you're, is trying to expand to get you where you need to be. Another thing that happens that is very common is you want love. Okay, this is after people get to a certain point. You want love and yet you want all of the trimmings and trappings of lovemaking. You want the intimacy. You want the tenderness. You want the togetherness. You want the partnership. You want to cuddle and you want to go for hours and hours and yet... What you wind up with is the feeling of, I just don't really want 3D sex though, okay? I don't want to slap body parts together. I don't want to, I, I just don't want to. If you're saying more, I don't want to, I don't want to, and it's even shocking yourself, pay attention to that and don't date, don't date. But I get so much pressure to date. Yes, there's a lot of pressure to date. There's entire businesses built on the whole dating world, you know? That's for soulmates. Those are not people who are activated. If you need a definition of what is a twin flame, go check out my website at Twin Flame Reconnection. It's time to reconnect you with the real parts of you that count. With the real parts that are here to heal you. The real parts that are here for you to make love and be enveloped in love. That is what real in love is. When I've worked with people and I've worked with people for a long time, you can find that some people, if they've been in an abusive marriage or situation or relationship, they have a stepping stone. They have someone who stands in as a stability partner. That's still a soulmate. Eventually, when they work on it, they outgrow that person. They're outpacing them. They're not able to carry that person with them. You end up feeling like you're bringing a little puppy dog with you. Like you don't want to be mean to the puppy, but you just don't want to be with the puppy. Do you feel like your little brother or brother or a business person or they feel like your dad? Like and you're suddenly like, wow, that was my dad and what they felt very paternal, maybe in a good way but like not a romantic way, not a passionate way. And you feel like you you maybe don't want to throw them back in the sea, but nor can you keep them and you become very conflicted. So this is why I'm saying this is what happens when twin flames try to date. Your soul just doesn't want it. It can't connect with those same old people because those same old people played a different role in a different life. Maybe they were somebody to you, but your soul doesn't need them anymore. Your soul doesn't want them. They don't even want them around. That's you not wanting them around. You will find that they repel you. And not that they're repulsive, but somehow you're pushing off of each other, like two ends of a magnet. So maybe you've seen that, you know, we have this magnetic energy, right? We have this electric and magnetic energy that's supposed to flow. But some magnets actually repel and you might find that you're coming towards each other and it seems like a great uh, maybe idea in the mind and it recedes. And you say, what was that? Is it me? Am I the problem? No, your energy is simply repelling that person away. So these are some of the reasons, there are multiple other reasons, but these are the more obvious ones that begin to come up of 
how what happens when twin flames try to date. You have connections that are only intended for each other, for your true other half. You're not intended to muddle up your energy anymore with a bunch of other people's energies that you then have to disentangle. One last thing I will tell you when twin flames try to date, you're going to have to remove that person's energy. If it was dating and especially if it was sexual energy. If you've tangled up your sexual energy again, you've got to clear it out. You're starting from scratch to do that because you might have pulled it out. And if you're putting it back in, you got to pull it out again. Okay? It doesn't just happen if you block the person. It doesn't just happen if they just go away or your soul decides, hey, we can't have that person. We're going to have them ghost you. Clearing your sexual energy is also something I teach. So please check out the links below. Watch for my upcoming events, my tutorials, and my books. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.